We're getting very close, Admiral. Uh -huh. Well, how much higher can the radiation go, Dr. Lamb? Mm, we're almost peak load now. Though no one's really had enough experience with Zykron 143 to really judge. Oh. Well, it's a, it's a comforting thought. But there's nothing comforting to me about it. Here we are, 1,500 feet below the ocean surface. I've got the feeling we're on a fool's errand that can only end in disaster. If we don't get the Zygon, if it falls into the hands of some unfriendly power, they'll have a weapon which could ultimately control the Earth. Yes, but as far as we know, Dr. Land is the only one who knows the Zykron's down here. If we've been through all this before, we do know that attacks have been made on Dr. Land and myself and attempts to subvert and brainwash the crew. We're only wasting time discussing it, gentlemen. There's the element we've been looking for. I told you it was here, Admiral. An exotic element that can provide mankind with power never dreamed of before. If you're right, we're looking at enough raw energy to wipe mankind off the face of the Earth. Well, that's why we have to control it. More earthquakes. We better not waste any time getting our samples out of here. Well, we're not going to. Nelson to see you. Nelson to see you. Come in, please. See you. This is Nelson. Do you read me? Well, the Zykrons must be having some kind of effect on communications. I'll try from the landing area. I'll bring back the sonic cutting tool. Good. Fine. Fine. Calling Admiral Nelson. Do you read me? Come in, please. Over. Having any trouble, sir? We can't raise the Admiral. It's been over half an hour since we've heard anything from down there. Well, maybe uh, the radio blacks out once they get inside the cave. Allowing for that, one of them should have returned to the landing spot. They were supposed to make contact every 30 minutes. Want me to order a rescue party out, sir? Have one stand by. I'll keep trying to reach the Admiral. Aye, aye sir. Sea view to Admiral Nelson. Come in, please. Over. Sea view to Admiral Nelson. Do you read me? Come in, please. Over.
calling Admiral Nelson. Sea View to Admiral Nelson. Come in, please, over. Sea View to Admiral Nelson. Sea View to Admiral Nelson. Do you read me? Come in, please, over. This, this is Nelson. Over. We were concerned about you, sir, since we lost radio contact. Is everything all right? Negative. What happened, sir? Cave in. Lee and Dr. Land. They're both... They're both dead. Are you sure, sir? Yes, yes, I'm sure. I'm coming up. Admiral, can you wait till we get down there? Negative. I'm coming up. As soon as the Admiral's back aboard, go down to the cave. There might be a chance they're alive. If not, maybe we can recover the bodies. I see. Dead. Who says he's dead? Well, you heard the Admiral yourself, Chief. That's what the Admiral believes, but he didn't see him dead. And nobody else has either. Okay, okay. I was just saying I can't believe... Just, just don't say anything, Patterson. When we get down there, we'll find out what's what. Until then, just, just get into your gear and get set. Yeah. Sure, Chief, sure. Ready to show off, Chief? Yes, sir. We're ready to go just as soon as the animal gets aboard. He just called in the control room. He must be coming aboard now. Lend a hand at the escape hatch. The animal might be hurt. On a double. What happened down there, sir? Uh, it was... It was an earth tremor, and a whole roof caved in on them. Ton, tons of rock. Oh, you, you're lucky you got out, sir. Well, I was on my way to, to the landing area to, to radio Seaview, you, and uh, I went back to try to dig them out, but it, it, there's no use. You better get out of that suit and let the doc check you out. No, I'm right on. I'll go to my cabin. Get down there on a double. I said, come on, Pat. Captain Crane. Sea View to Captain Crane. Can you read us? Over. What force was that? Just over five, sir. It's hard enough to cause some heavy damage down below. The damage has already been done. Yes, sir.
Nelson. Do you read me? We hear you. Proceed. Zikron deposits located at exactly the coordinates indicated on the microfilm taken from Dr. Land's laboratory. Estimated total weight mass in excess of 100 tons. Have you obtained samples? Yes, I have a sample here with me aboard Seaview. What about Captain Crane and Dr. Land? They're dead. You are certain? I'm positive. Good. What's the present location of Seaview? It's standing by directly over the entrance, the underwater cave. Very well. Give us exact data as to location of Zykron deposit, depth of cave entrance, and anything else pertinent to our obtaining it. The uh, depth of the entrance to the cave is 1,522 feet. The location is exactly the latitude and longitude indicated on our charts. Sea view is hovering at a depth keel to bottom of 800 feet. Mr. Morton, there's something going on here you ought to know about. What's the trouble, Sparks? Some sort of a signal band outside our normal frequencies. From the intensity, I'd guess it to be a scramble device. The only thing is, it's coming from somewhere on the sea view. Are you sure it's not a high frequency leak in our own communication system? No, couldn't possibly be. We'll just have to track it down. Kowalski? Yes, sir? Run this signal analyzer throughout the ship. Locate the source of the signal, report back to me. Aye, right, sir. Dr. Lang and my own cursory examination of the sample I have, there can be no doubt that Zykron 143 has the greatest energy potential of any element ever discovered by man. Nelson, are you in there, sir? Well, what is it, Kowalski? I, uh... Well, come in. Well, uh, I, uh, I traced a radio transmission to this cabin, sir. <laughs> a radio transmission? Yes, sir. Sparks has been picking up some kind of weird signal, and Mr. Morton asked me to track it down. Oh. Oh, and so you're, uh... Signal analyzer led you here. Yes, sir. I know it sounds screwy, but um, that's what happened. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, try it again. I'm sorry, Admiral. I, uh, I don't know why I... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sure sorry, Admiral. Now, wait, wait, wait. If there's some strange signal coming from Seaview, we have to locate it. Now, search my cabin. Search the... Your cabin, sir? Yes, yes, of course. There might be some device planted in here. 
We've got to find it. Now, let me see, let me see. Well, the only new thing here is that attaché case. I brought it aboard when I picked up Dr. Lamb. Let's have a look. I'd open it. Uh, sir, I'd just as soon take it. No, this. no, no. Go ahead. Test it with your analyzer. Mission communications. Go ahead. There was a crewman. They're picking up our transmission. I've stopped him from reporting. But look, look, I've got to get off this submarine. Not before you've completed your mission. You do remember what it is, don't you? Of course. Of course I remember. Destroy Seaview. <laughs> Doesn't look too good for the skipper, does it? We'll never know until we find out, right? Yeah, that's right. Let's dig in. Mm. Look out, that wall's gonna come down. Look out! that strange signal again. My board indicates Kowalski was closing in on it with the analyzer. Guard the frequency. It may come on again. Aye, sir. This is the exec. Kowalski, report to the control room on the double. Report to the control room on the double. Repeat. This is the exec. Report to the control room at once. Report to the control room at once. Repeat. Kowalski, report to the control room. Report to the control room on a double. That wasn't too bad. Yeah. We're still alive. Yeah. Let's get to work. All right. Get that light up here. All right. shaken up a little uh but uh I, I can i can move all right skipper keep talking 
Doctor... Doctor Lands in a bad way. The explosion nearly killed him. The Admiral set it off. The Admiral? That's right. Now get to the radio. And tell Mr. Morton that I want the Admiral confined to his quarters. Until I get back on board. Sir, the Admiral... Tell him. Now move. I see. Hey, you better take the light. Sharky to see you. Sharky to see you. Come in, please. Come in. This is the chief, Mr. Morton. It's urgent. If you read me, come in, please. Over. This is Morton, chief. What's going on down there? Well, first about the skipper. We haven't gotten him out yet, but uh, he's alive. Is he badly hurt? Well, enough, sir. He and Dr. Land could be okay once we get him out, but that's not why I'm contacting you. What's that supposed to mean? It's about the admiral, sir. Oh, what about him? Captain Crane wants you to put him under arrest. Arrest the Admiral? Do you know what you're saying, Sharky? Yes, sir, I sure do. Those are the skipper's orders. Arrest him and confine him to quarters. This is no time for bad jokes, Chief. Sir, I sure wish it was a joke. But there's something wrong with the Admiral. He blew up the tunnel and tried to kill the skipper and Dr. Land. He's dangerous. The skipper wants him kept harmless until we find out what's wrong. All right, Sharky. Get back and rescue the captain, Dr. Land. Tell him I'll handle things at this end. Aye, right, sir, over and out. Hanley, Rogers, get arms to the three of us and meet me in quarter D7. We'll have to find the Admiral. All hands. There's the exec. Admiral Nelson is somewhere on board. He's ill. I want him seized and confined to quarters. Repeat. Admiral Nelson is to be seized and confined to quarters. Warning. He may be armed and he may be dangerous. He may be armed and he may be dangerous.
Tennyson? The skipper's out like a light again, Chief. Nelson. Additional data on the status of Seville. Proceed. Nerve gas methylene X has been used aboard. The entire crew is immobilized, with the exception of Chief Petty Officer Shaki and Kuman Patterson. Why are they exceptions? They've gone to the underwater cave to try to find out what happened to Crane. We are sending one of our submarines to the area with a landing party. Patterson and Sharkey will be taken care of. What is your next step? Well, the destruction of Seaview. Your plan? Now, wait, wait. Your submarine will be standing by for me. It will. And I'll just let the reactor run wild. There'll be nothing left of Seaview but nuclear dust. Out. with an anti-radiation shot. Get the executives and help down on a double. Right. Seaview, this is Patterson. Seaview, this is Patterson. Can you read me over? Seaview, this is Patterson. Can you hear us up there? We need help and we need it bad. Can you hear us? Acknowledge. Can't get through, Chief. Let a peep out of them up there. We gotta get them aboard some way. Get the diving outfits on them. Maybe the two of us can... Hey, Chief. They sent down a rescue party. Not ours. Not what? Not ours. Let's get it. No. We are 
have orders to take them back with us. First, we've got to find that Zycron deposit before this whole place comes down on us. Don, you stay here and we'll alert for communications from the submarine. You, come with me. All right, come on, Scott. Let's go. The reactor is building toward explosion. I'm preparing to leave for submarine rendezvous. The submarine's rudder controls were damaged by an underwater quake. It can't reach rendezvous coordinates for 30 minutes. Remain aboard until <clears throat> further notification. But, but look, the reactor is going to blow in about 25 minutes. You've not completed your mission. Oh, no, 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 but, but uh, we had a clear understanding that... Whatever understanding you have has been implanted by our techniques. You will obey orders without qualification. Is that clear? Yes. We will contact you later. Out. seen enough for our report. Let's get back to the landing area. Right. Come on, wake it's, up. It's Come on. Oh, skip it. They weren't ours. They must have gotten Patterson and me with their stun guns. I got one of them. You, you mean there was more than one? Well, three all told. They must have gone through the tunnel. We better be ready for them. What about Dr. Land and Patterson, sir? Well, Patterson will be all right. As far as Dr. Land goes, his only chance is for us to get him aboard Seaview. Still no word, huh? Nothing. I tried to get them while you were out. Nothing. I'll see what I can do about Patterson. I guess the only hope for all of us is to get on those suits and back on scene. Come on, Patterson, wake up. Come on, Patterson, wake up. Wake up. He's coming to me.
I guess that does it for now, sir. Let's get Dr. Land into a suit. We've got to get back to the Seaview fast. All right, This is Nelson, come in. What is your current status? The reactor is building to critical mass. Explosion in about uh, nine minutes. We are concerned that there may be an attempt to stop it. But why? There's nobody aboard who could do that. No, but we've been unable to contact our landing party. If the Sea View crew manage to defeat them, they may be on their way back to the submarine. They'd, they'd never be able to stop me. See to it that they don't. Your task still remains the same. Oh, it's as good as done. Out. guessing the same thing. The Admiral, huh? Something's wrong with him. I don't know why, but he tried to kill Dr. Land and me. Brain. Brainwashed. Brainwashed? How? When? He was 24 hours late for his meeting with me. Before he brought you aboard? He was a Got him, brainwashed him, and they must have. Well, sir, if he's aboard and the rest of the crew is like this, we just. Yeah, I know, I know. We've got to get Dr. Land to the decontamination chamber. And Chief, you and I are going to check every square inch of the ship and. Lee? Lee, this is Nelson. There's an old saying, Lee. You know, about leaping from the frying pan up the fire. Well, that's what you've done by coming back aboard. Admiral. Admiral, it's Lee. Listen to me. I don't know what you've done or uh, what they've done to you, but you've got to stop right now. Admiral, let me talk to you. That's all I ask. Just uh, let me talk to you. There's nothing to talk about. I pull the rods on the reactor, it's going wild. In a few minutes, it'll reach critical mass. And all of us here will be part of the cloud of dust that will see you. He couldn't do it, Skipper. He just, he just couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. 
Skipper, it couldn't have been the reactor. But it was. Fortunately, the safety valves vented most of the explosion into the sea. But the main force is still building. Now, look, I'll take care of the reactor. You get Dr. Land into the decontamination chamber. Oh, what about the Admiral? We'll face that when we run into him. How, oh, sir? If we have to, we'll kill him. I see. As soon as you get Dr. Land in the chamber, Patterson will stay on guard. I'll meet you in the control room. What if you need help with the reactor, Skipper? If I can't handle it, none of us will have to worry about anything. All right, let's go. Yes, The Admiral being like he is, I... You got your orders. Get going. Thanks, sir. is gonna go. We gotta get in there and shut it down. No. No, nobody is going to shut it down. I just stay away from the hatch. I can't, sir. I... I gotta get in there. I just can't let the sea view go up in smoke. Oh, she's going up all right. I have received my orders. Destroy the sea view and I'm going to carry them out. Please, sir. I... I... I don't know what they did to you or, or why you're acting this way, but I gotta get in there and shut that reactor down. Even if I have to kill you. This is the entry for you, for me, to see you. 
Ano? Is he dead? I gave him a low voltage shock treatment. It could cure him. Or kill him? responsible for this. How did all this happen? All right, all right, you can tell me about it later. It's, it's all right now. The reaction showed it out and see if yourself yourself again. A little piece of rock, better than all. Yeah, something like this men could devastate the earth. Or perhaps one day find the limits of outer space. Well, let's hope it's not oblivion we find with it. <laughs> Amen. I had my own little taste of personal oblivion because of this. To destroy a CV. And I that is unbelievable. You were a fortunate man, Admiral. They didn't have you long enough to allow the brainwash to be anything but temporary. That's why the shock effect of the laser could reverse it. Mm. Well, it came close enough to being permanent for all of us, believe me. Sir? Sure. This just came in from Washington. Well, thanks to you. Oh, uh, how, how's the... Uh... Oh, fine, just fine, sir. I'll be back on full duty in a couple of days. Don't give it another thought. I'll give it uh, many thoughts, Steve. Well, they, they know the nation responsible. There'll be some diplomatic discussion, some verbal wrist-slapping at the executive level. And the world and Seaview will sail into the future as though nothing ever happened. 